For more than a decade, a mother living here in Croydon managed to dupe some of the most eminent doctors in London. She invented illnesses for her children so she could claim more than £375,000 in benefits. She said they suffered from severe asthma, autism, urology problems, gastric complications. It led to unnecessary medical treatment, including stomach surgery, for both children, so they would be fed through a tube. In fact, they could eat perfectly normally. The mother, who's now 49, held her face in her hands and fell to the floor in tears as she was sentenced to seven and a half years. The judge told her directly, you forced your children to lead double lives, to fall in with your deception. It may not be for another 20 years until they have children of their own that they realise the enormous trust placed in a parent and how you abused it. A callous woman that has lied continually has been brought to justice and she's got the sentence that she truly deserves. Detectives from Scotland Yard's Child Abuse Command spent three years investigating her crimes. £375,000 claimed fraudulently in benefits. That's the highest amount by a single person recorded by the Work and Pensions Department. The abuse of the children over that length of time, her presentation, the lies, I have never seen anything like it. The mother encouraged her son to behave as if he had autism. When staff at his nursery tried to help, she resisted attempts to toilet train him. Just one detail in a decade of cruelty. I think this case is different because it did go on for so long. Um, and when we hear about cases of this sort, it's always a shock to think that parents can treat their children in this way. But all of this could have been stopped three years earlier. A doctor at the nearby Mayday Hospital was suspicious and tipped off the top specialists at the units where the two children were being treated. But the alarm bells were ignored. And today the judge said that however busy and knowledgeable in their field these experts were, if they'd listened, they may have been able to see through the mother's lies. A serious case review is now underway to work out how she was able to get away with it for so many years. Nick Beek, BBC News, Croydon.